Hello everybody, my name is Bill Orris and our AeroSwing product, the prototype stuff just came in. Um, so I wanna show it to you, show you what you get for your money. Also wanna mention that we have a uh, pre sign up page up on the website, www.aeroswing.com, A-E-R-O dash swing.com. And if you put in um, pre, pre-sales as a keyword, you'll get 10% off. So let's open this thing up and see what we got. This is the yellow one. We've got a green one, got a black one, of course, yellow one. And then we also um, uh, ordered, we're gonna have some pink ones made up too. So that'd be kind of cool, those will be hot pink. And you can see that on the website now too. So this is a bag that comes with uh, Aero Swing. So you could keep these in this bag as opposed to them flopping around in your trunk or, or anywhere else. And you could hang this on your bag too, on your golf bag. I'll show you what's inside. Inside of here, we've got all these little components and each one of these components serve a purpose. I've got a club. Let me show you how to install Aero Swing. And Joe, do you want to hit one of these around? Yeah. Here you go. Okay, great. So here's the deal. Um, they have a black grommet and a white grommet. The black goes towards the ground, the white grommet goes towards the sky. Black is dirt, white are the clouds, so it easily slips right on a club. And in order to keep this from hitting the ferrule or even uh, the club itself, we devised these nylon little clippy things that prevent it from going any further, right? So as you swing the club, it holds it in place. We have a second thing that we molded. We're calling these um, like little support rubber pieces. Jody, what are we calling these again? These black pieces? Hey, Jody. What are we calling these? No, I thought you said like supporters or... Uh, stabilizers. stabilizers. There we go. So we're calling these stabilizers. Why? Because they help <laughs> stabilize the club, right? So these are kind of cool. Um, you can also put two of these on, right? We talked about how many you can stick on. Some guys actually buy two, two of these and put four of them on if you really want a lot of resistance um, for some of your bigger hitters. So something else that we have is we're having some interest from some of these long drive hitters, right? And they can really swing a club, you know, 150, 155 miles an hour kind of crazy how fast they could swing it. So in order to keep this safe on your club, we have these zip ties that the product will come with. These zip ties are reusable. There's four of them that come with the package. When I initially designed this, I didn't want to put any clamps on these. I didn't want any mechanical pieces on aero swing at all. I'm sure you've seen some of the other products and the complaint about those is the clamps that clamp on to your club, they break. You can't get them replaced. It's something that I wanted to stay far away from. So what you do is you basically put these on your club, holds it in place, both stabilizers will stabilize the piece and as you swing it, this um, zip tie will help hold it in place. I don't want anything else scratching somebody else's um, a driver, so that's why we've got these rubber bushings that you just cinch. So that's pretty cool. So what you get in this bag is you get two of these stabilizers. You're going to get four of these zip ties. And then I also threw in an extra one of these uh, nylon clips that kind of hold it in place. So you've heard me talk about variable resistance, right? To aero swing. So here's how that works. The first way is you can put on multiple pieces. Let me pull a green one out of here. I guess we can mix and match colors, not that big of a deal. Again, black on the bottom, white at top. Take this little stabilizer piece put it on the club, 
push it tight, holds it in place, right? So the first way variable resistance is to put more than one unit on here, right? Second way is, let me take this one off, is to actually move this product closer to your hands. So as you push this further up, the further this goes, the closer it gets to your hands, the less resistance it will have, right? Because, because it is closer to your hands. And if it's closer to your hands, when you swing the club, it's traveling less, so it's not going as fast, so it's not causing as much resistance, right? So that's the second way. Now the third way, which is, which has to do with the patent. Again, we have a patent pending. Patent should be awarded here. I'm expecting it any day. Um, we already got favorable um, conversations with the patent attorney, just waiting for the numbers to come through and all that other good stuff. But if you can see this, the way these lips are is as the club comes down. I've talked about this in a couple other videos, but just to continue here, as the club comes down to ball impact, these scoop the air at about this point to this point, right? So if you look straight on, that's a perfect hole, right? As you look this way, you can see how these lips actually still make a perfect hole. So it just helps you pull in the maximum amount of air. And as you finish through with your swing, air is basically shed over these holes and your resistance lessens. Also, just want to reemphasize again that aero swing is not a weight, right? I think that's one of the coolest things about this. These weigh almost four ounces with the rubber pieces and with um, the material that it's made of. We used a, a special lightweight, very rigid, strong polymer to, um, to make this product out of. So that's, um, that's gonna help. You know, they weigh four ounces. They don't weigh 16 ounces. A lot of these golf weights are 16 ounces. It's a problem with swinging a weight, can be a problem with swinging a weight, because what you do is you end up trying to get that weight started, right? I mean, we know, if you guys have used it, you know what it's like. You get that weight started. Sometimes when you try to get that weight started, that's a lot of torque, right? You're trying to pull that extra pound. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually a lot when you're swinging a club that doesn't weigh that much to begin with. So with that, remember to go onto the website, taking pre-orders. Mention pre-order as the keyword. You can get 10% off. Products should be coming, I would say, in late June sometime. We're getting good feedback that it should be on time, which is a good thing. With that, I'll let everybody go. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time.